Hello and welcome to Bloomberg TV India, part of the world's biggest financial news network. This is The Big Story. I'm Vivek Law. On to the first big story we are breaking today. In the past few months, all the attention in the country has been on the currency markets with the rupee going into free fall. But who are the big traders dominating India's currency markets? Just the way we have shown you for the last one year how the Indian equity markets have been dominated by algorithmic high-frequency traders. Now in the currency market, we find the top positions being taken by some domestic NBFCs, some global commodity players and interestingly, some jewellers as well and of course, some completely unknown individuals. So here are the biggest currency traders of India. On the National Stock Exchange, which now has the maximum volumes when it comes to currency, you've got Louis Dreyfus and I'll come to a little bit more about who Louis Dreyfus is in just a bit. That's the number one trader, the client, number one client on the National Stock Exchange when it comes to currency. We're talking about a certain six month odd period. There's Zaveri and Company, it's an Ahmedabad based company. More on that a bit later. That's the number two currency trader in the country. And of course, then there are a set of three entities that belong to Rashid Shah's Edelweiss group, which happened to dominate very significantly a large chunk of currency trades as well. Rashid Shah, as we know, has been involved with the equity markets for a long time, but clearly his entities seem to be now dominating currency trading as well in the country. Moving on, so who is Louis Dreyfus? It's a 150-year-old French commodities giant, $57 billion in revenues in 2012. That is the number one currency trader in this country. Let's move on to going to the MCX, which is uh, the second biggest exchange when it comes to currency and was perhaps the first to really take off. Interestingly, the number one trader, currency trader on MCX is Kunal Kataria who also happens to have a broking entity called Kais Forex. Now, uh, in the broker category, Kais Forex is number three, but as a client, so it's clearly a prop book here. He trades on his own broker's account. Kunal Kataria is the number one currency trader as far as MCX is concerned, followed by, again, a Zaverian company. We don't know if there's any linkage between the two because there's very little public information available as far as it's concerned. And, of course, the only global FII that figures as a client is Bank of America in the top lists across, in fact, both the exchanges. You look at the brokers, the big brokers, SMC Global is number one on MCX, Zaveri Enterprises. Again, we don't know if there is any connection between the two because, as I said, very little information available and Kaya's Forex about which we've already talked. Let's moving on. There seems to have been a significant churn as far as the top traders are concerned in currencies. A quick look at what was the changes from May as regards as of February 2013. Only one of the five top companies from February are still in the May list as far as MCX is concerned. In other words, the big traders have churned, have changed and there are a new set of entities and individuals that seem to have emerged over the last couple of months and that's what we've been talking about where the currency markets have been in clear focus. Only two of the top five companies from the February as on February, who were the big traders, that list are still there in the May list as far as the National Stock Exchange is concerned. So that's really the picture as far as India's biggest currency traders are concerned. And uh, these are the ones who dominate currency trading as far as India is concerned. Mind you, all these statistics, all these details are from regulatory filings.